I think one of the biggest things is a lack of trust of the older generation to the younger. That gap took away the part where we can actually come together and talk about the issues of our community. Hello. I'm Leah. I'm Richard. Frankie. Hello, Barbara. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? What pronouns do you use? Pronouns? I don't know. She, her, they, them. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's your generation. Yeah, and I understand. <laughs> I know. I have a lot to learn about that. Yeah, I can, I can help with that. Good. <laughs> My name is Charles Valentino. My age, I'm 67. Wow, you look good. <laughs> I'm 28 years old. I'm an artist, and I identify as a trans woman. It's very nice to meet you, Fatima. I use they, them, he, him pronouns. I'm trans mask, so. Mm -hmm. OK, good. Yeah. We have the history, and I think it's important for us to pass it on, to share that. We seem to believe that there's nothing we can tell you because you're not going to listen. You were coming up in a time to be homosexual was illegal. Yeah. My first gay club experience uh -huh. was just 2012, OK? Oh, God. It was just seven years ago. You're a newbie. When I was a kid, there was really no positive word for being queer or gay. So to come to this point to accept myself and kind of and hold myself up in regard is a really extraordinary thing. Pride is not just one month. It's how you carry yourself and how you live your life all the time. I would say that pride for me starts in the mirror, liking what I see there first. It's a way to celebrate, but we also can't forget that the reason we have the pride parade is because of what happened at Stonewall 50 years ago. Stonewall means a great deal to me. It, it occurred only three months after I came out. I think I'm still learning about Stonewall and trying to reconnect with the history that um, folks like me went through and lived through. Up until that point, gay bars were always raided. People were put into paddy wagons and taken away. I was there that night that it all went down. We've had enough. This is it. This is it. <laughs> enough. <laughs> I have this incredibly vivid image of, of a policeman standing with his stick in the air. They were beating people. It was really awful. I think of names, Marsha P. Johnson, yeah. Sylvie Rivera, you mm -hmm. know, Miss Major. You saw things that I didn't see in the 60s with the riots, and then mm -hmm. there's the AIDS crisis. Yes. And within our own community, there's a lot of stuff that we still have to unify on. It's wild how much attention we could give to rainbow flags, but not to, I think, dead black bodies, specifically black trans mm -hmm. girls. I'm going to be the same person regardless of if I'm a man or a woman. I think personality and like how somebody is, like if they have a good heart, like that's all that really matters, not how they identify. I know people in my generation are, are grappling with that and trying to understand that, knowing how we were prejudiced against, that I, I certainly don't want you and your generation to be prejudiced against because of us. Oh, I think you're wonderful. I think you're doing really well. It's nice to see Thank you. young people that are yeah. really advanced in their thinking. Yeah. You know? We lost the grandparent experience. The aunts speaking to their nieces and nephews, the uncles. We, we've lost that, and especially within our communities. I feel like having moments like these where we can talk is the right step to make just kind of bringing it all back together. This is step one. Definitely step one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, we should go to Stonewall. <laughs> I know, yeah, we should go to Stonewall for drinks. I'm down. Okay. <laughs>